The pieces in this show is a continuum of a search that I've been doing for almost 30 years now. And essentially it's a place where man and nature meet. It's on that edge, the interaction. Uh, inspiration would come from skyscrapers with a small garden that's on the balcony. You see plant from people's office that has a plant. And essentially an interpretation of that as man's need to be with nature, but the nature is actually artificial because it's also totally under control, like a part of plan. So from the idea of that, I start out with fruits, vegetables, exotic uh, plant forms that has medicinal values or other values such as money tree, such as monkey pots. They all become metaphoric for me. And as I go further down, I have a garden, which is a metaphoric garden in my mind. It's a garden of the mind, where I plant giant fruits and objects of desire for humans. As that go on even further, my garden is very full, and I have different plants that I bring into the marketplace, and then I sell them, such as in exhibitions. And then I go further in the night, away from my garden into the jungle. So this is a, a, a series of work that is from my present jungle. The material become more crazy wild as my imagination got more berserk. With the form changing into an oozing kind of material, which is foam. These pieces are made with urethane foam spray foam and paper pulp. That is the majority of the material. The color are actually embedded as dye into the foam and they ooze. I go into the jungle and contemplate and I think about it. I think what it's about and it's my version of the imagination. This is my poetry or my specimens. So in this jungle I have fun. I go pick out special plants that I could recognize and reinvent. And this is the representation of the tip of the jungle iceberg that I am playing in and I'm sharing with my audience.